we begin using checklists as student pilots and that should continue all the way through our flying career. So what happens when you add optional equipment or aftermarket equipment to your airplane? Those come with supplements too. Those supplements have checklists. How do you integrate those checklists into your normal checklist items? We'll talk about that today on 57 Seconds to Safer Flying. Does your cockpit look like this one? Three or four different checklists? You've tried to find that perfect one. The perfect one, however, may be the one you develop for yourself. For each added component in your airplane, a supplement should be found in the back of your aircraft flight manual. The checklist items will be in the emergency and normal sections. Thoughtfully study the flow of your AFM's original checklist and add supplement items in the right spot. For example, the Cessna 172S has a KLN 94 GPS and an autopilot. The flight manual standard before takeoff check references the NAV GPS switch to be set, the autopilot to be off, and the manual electric trim to be checked. But the supplement's limitations mandate certain steps. The GPS's limitations require a current pilot guide for the unit to be in the cockpit within reach of the pilot. What? I'm not kidding. The autopilot's limitations require specific checks in the supplemental checklist to be completed before every flight. Crafting your own checklist is worth it. You'll learn more about your airplane. You may think that creating your own checklist is intimidating or illegal, but Part 91 allows it. You just want to make sure that you don't remove anything from the manufacturer's checklist, and when you add items from the supplemental checklist, you put them in a logical order or a proper sequence, and then have a flight instructor look it over. For the FAA safety team, I'm Phil Dixon.